Hello everybody, this is Phil Beckwith, your professional painter and decorator. Back with the video that everybody's been eagerly anticipating and waiting for and yeah, eventually I've managed to get it done and you're now watching it on uh, my channel on YouTube. So um, if you remember, I'll point there, a number of weeks ago, I can't remember how long ago it is because time flies when you're having fun, I sat in front of this wall and I spoke about what my process was for doing this gold leaf wall that I'm going to be doing. And I spoke about, I don't want to go over that, but I spoke about the difference between a real gold leaf sheet, 24 karat, and the gold leaf foil, which are quite a bit cheaper, quite a bit cheaper. Well, anyway, we've gone for the foil and I've got, I've ordered and through Amazon, I've ordered 400 sheets. I don't need 400 sheets for this, but I've got other projects coming through that I know I'm doing gold leaf ceilings and stuff, so I've ordered enough for now. But my process is going to be, you saw what I did before. I coated up the, the wall with a goldy color. It's a Farron Ball yellow. Uh, is it called Babushka something? I can't remember now. And um, I've coated the wall up. All I've done, for taping up his top edge of the skirting just to protect the skirting board just there and what my plan is i'm just going to give a final i've already finally nibbed it down how many times i just want to nib down this wall i'm going to find the middle and i've already actually found the middle but i'm going to use a spirit level which is on the floor and i'm going to find a horizontal and a vertical because the idea is these a gold leaf foils in individual sheets. Now, if I've got a rough idea where the line is to keep a horizontal and a vertical, I'm gonna just try and hang, hang, it's not wallpaper. I'm gonna try and keep to that so we can try and keep them vertical and horizontal. Now, when you get the gold leaf on, it won't define on edges. So you won't actually be seeing like a paper edge where you can say, oh, I can see it slightly off. You should be virtually, the whole wall will be gold as a solid. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be finding the middle. I'll go off camera and do that. I don't wanna wait for you, but I'll tell you the process. I'm gonna find the middle, draw a striker line across with a pencil. You won't see that because that gold leaf foil will cover any marks that are on that wall. The only reason that I've painted the wall in this color as a background is just in case I don't get enough gold leaf in certain areas and I don't see it, you're not gonna notice it so much around the corners and bits and pieces like that. Now, dropping down onto the floor. My adhesive, again, I picked these up off Amazon. The sheets, 400 gold sheets cost me about 20 quid. So you can see how much cheaper they are than real gold, 24 karat. And um, the, using polyvine, this is the me um, metal leaf size. This is your mordant, this is your adhesive that allows you to stick your gold leaf to it. Now, once this is applied, it's, it's tacky for about 24 hours. You apply it, you give it about 15 minutes to tack off, then you can start hanging your gold leaf. I've spoke about this before. Right, and I've also, I've got some Amazon links below if you wanna see where I bought them from and um, purchase if you want to, just so it make it easier. You can get these from brewers, um, polyvine stuff, brewers, other decorator centers like uh, Paintwell, probably Dulux have it as well, Crown, and I'll mention Jono. So other independents will also sell it. I know Scott at Paint Monster, he also has it, um, or if they haven't got it, people get it in for you. But no, I'm gonna be coating that up, and then I'm gonna be starting applying the gold leaf. So what I'm gonna be doing now is just marking it up, and then I'll come back to you. And what I will say, what I'm gonna be doing is getting it all done today. Now, I know that, We'll call it the mordant, the adhesive's sticking for 24 hours, but if you've got your gold on, your gold won't be sticky because it's pure, well, pure is an imitation. And I can actually varnish it today. Now, we spoke about the varnish before. I've got the, the crystal clear lacquer. Now, you can't just use ordinary decorator's varnish, and if you've watched the other video, you'll know why. It's because it, an ordinary decorator's varnish will sit on the shiny surface of the gold. So you need a crystal clear lacquer that Polyvine do that is universal to going over anything. Now, 
They've changed the name of this, and I believe the new varnish is multi-surface varnish, which goes over any sort of product. Always read the back of the label, always read the back of the technical data sheet, if in doubt, or polyvinyl, like I've done. If you actually ring them, they give you some good advice. Now, I know some of you are gonna be saying to me, Phil, you don't need to varnish gold leaf. I know you don't need to varnish gold leaf if it's real gold leaf. It won't tarnish, it won't go off. But this is imitation gold leaf. And because I need it, it's a high traffic area, it's in the entrance hall of the flat renovation. I want to put a, a varnish over it just to protect it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'll probably put three or four coats on just to build it up, but you'll still get the effect because it is a clear coat. So that's what I'm gonna do. Right, I'm gonna go off camera. Let me mark that up. I'll nib the wall down and then I'll just come back to you just before I start applying the adhesive. So are you all good? Are we following me? Of course we are. Do you like how we're blending it out from about the same position? It takes years of practice for that. Um, what I've done, I've struck a line top to bottom. So in effect, I've quartered it. I've got a quarter there, quarter there, and the same at the bottom. I've just started, I've done a, a quarter of it. I've just started applying the gold leaf size. Now, I've only, obviously, use your common sense. If you've got big areas, you can use a roller, cut in and use a little roller or a bigger roller. This is measuring up, rounding it up to the nearest, well, 2.3 by 2.3, so it's not a big area. I'm just using one of those Pro Deck brushes, three inch. It's a nice soft brush. I can apply plenty of adhesive with it because the adhesive's like water. And um, with it being a nice soft tip, I can actually cut into that edge quite neatly. I'm not too worried if the adhesive goes onto the surrounding like ceiling or walls, because what I'll do once the gold leaf's all on, you dust it all off, get it as clean as you can, like no um, leftover bits that are hanging about, clean it all down. And then I can always varnish it, let it go hard, and then just neaten up the edges with a bit of the emulsion of the ceiling or the wall color. The wall color was from uh, Benjamin Moore, Ben, and the ceiling was the Valspar vinyl mat. Yeah, don't go, just watch the playlist there of product testing. So that's what I've done. I'll, I'll come off camera again and I'll finish all these and then we'll come back when we're talking about the gold leaf because the gold leaf is literally wafer thin. I've had to shut every window in here because as soon as you expose it to the air, you can see it. It's like, you know, when you open a cracker at Christmas and you get that curling up fish, are you lying or aren't you? Do you like butter and all that sort of thing? It curls up one way, it's, it's as wafer thin as that. So um, let's crack on because that needs a good 15 minutes just to tack off before you start applying this stuff. So I'm um, catching in a few, uh, few minutes. Right, we've coated all that up. And to be fair, for that area, 2b3 b 2b3, that three inch brush was fine. It took me about 10 minutes, it's not long. Um, you could have, could have used a roller and just got it on with that. So it doesn't matter, personal, personal choice. Right, what I'm gonna do these sheets are 16 by 16. So they're quite a big sheet. What I'm gonna do, because that's going off, this section here, this quarter, was my first one, so I'm gonna start with that. Now, once I start going, I'll carry on. <laughs> I'll, I'll speed it up for you so you don't have to endure probably three hours worth of applying gold foil to a wall. It won't be as long as that. Um, but now that adhesive's on, it's going off, I can actually start, because 15 minutes. By the way, the adhesive's water-based, so you can feel your brush starting to go a bit khaki because it's the glue in it, the adhesive. So I washed out with just some cold water and then some warm water and bits. So washing up liquid should be fine. So um, let's see how we go. Now, hopefully there's not enough draft to blow anything about. I'm gonna pick it up by a sheet at a time. This isn't it, this is just the baking well, wax proof paper that just separates each sheet. And hopefully I can get a sheet on in one piece. If it breaks and crumbles, cause it's that wafer thin, don't worry, you can come back to it with some other little pieces later and just dab them in. So I'm not worried about that. I just wanna bang these squares on virtually straight away. Now coming up to the edges, because we've measured a bit like doing wallpaper in a mural hanging. We found the middle and we're working from the middle. I'm expecting the same sort of size on the left-hand side, right-hand side, top and bottom as filling pieces, or if not filling pieces. 
I'll come back to them last because there'll be a section of that just going on. Hope that I hope you understand about that. But let, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, I don't want to do too much moving about because this will be all over the place. I'll come across there and we'll see what sort of size little pieces left at the edge. So bear with me. Right. We're going in for the, um, I don't want to say kill, but this is literally how wafer thin it is. I'm actually shaking. I'm actually shaking. Right, can I pick it up? Yeah. So it's one sheet at a time. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put one on with two hands just so I can line it up for that middle, right? So there is, I'm back, there is one sheet. I'm gonna hold it really gently. And as I say, I'm not too worried if it isn't in line because by the time it's all on, you won't notice whether it's skewy or not. But for me, I just want to know that I'm virtually horizontal or vertical. So let's have a go at this. So we're gonna go there. It will stick. Just like that. Now don't worry about it not sticking all the way down. You can probably just see there's an air bubble in that. Don't worry, because we can push that down when we actually come to just going over the whole surface with a soft cloth. So, um, well, we've started, haven't we? We've started, so there's no turning back. All your pieces that break off will drop on the floor. If you're in a sterile environment, you'd probably pick them up and use them again, but I'm not. We're having new carpet here. It'll just be vacked up, so. All right, let's uh, crack on. You cannot overlap them. That doesn't matter. Actually moving around on the greaseproof paper a bit more than I'd like, but I think once we got the first few on, we should be fine. And if you can see, it does go very brittle and break on you. If you can see that, it's working out nicely. There's probably that much gold leaf coming off an edge when I come up to an edge. If I can keep a square, I can't talk because it blows it. You get the idea. 
I'm going to save my video space and I'll come back when I've done a bit more so you can see it. So um, wish me luck. Right, that's actually my first 100 sheets gone. Now, I'd measured up and I predicted about 100, and, uh, 200, flipping that would be good, wouldn't it? 206 sheets needed for all that wall. I knew by the time you do your OB, you're not gonna butt joints, so you're not gonna get exact. Uh, the way it works is it can overlap on itself and like you say, there's probably holes in it. So that's why I'd ordered 400 and it also allows me when I do my next jobs, I only need to order, yeah, yeah. So what I've done, 100, I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna finish the wall off with the next 150 to 200. And then I'll come back to show you what we do where we've got areas that have got gaps. Now, the principle is you go over and you patch them in. But how, how, how are you gonna do that? I'm gonna show you. But also the flaky bits where it's all bubbles at the minute, what we'll be doing is we're getting a soft, I've got a soft cloth, I've also got a soft brush and you brush it all down to get any loose off, that'll drop to the floor, then you'll see where you need to do your patching up. So um, yeah, I'm quite pleased. I can, I've got vision, I can see what it's gonna look like. Bear with me. Right, I'm a bit buzzing, I'm buzzing, I love it. That, when I saw you had done first 100, I went on to the 200 and I've actually, done it all into the 300, you know, into the pack that was the third 100. Now, I'm gonna give you a top tip. I'm gonna do it in a minute, but I'm gonna give you a top tip that if, from anything that you take away from today, I hope you take away this to go, oh, what a tip that is, Phil. Right, there is no chance you're gonna get these sheets on in a whole square. They're gonna overlap, they're gonna, I mean, when it was up near the, Loft hatch, talk about, I could feel a breeze coming. It was moving it all over the place. There are certain areas, can you see, and this is why I put a yellow background on, there are certain areas that didn't get covered, but then there are certain areas that have been overlapped, like there's quite a big sheet there. What I'm gonna say is before you start brushing it down with um, 
a soft dust brush or anything. Have a look round at where all these big, big flaps of sheet are. Pull them off as best you can and then use them just to fill in some of the big areas. Now this isn't my top tip, this is just a bit of common sense. Don't waste what you've got. I mean, there's a piece there, I'm just gonna pull it back. It'll stick, just press it down with your fingers. It'll stick onto the mordant, the adhesive. Then pull off a little bit of sheet and if you see gaps like that, just bang it on. But as I say, this isn't my top tip. My top tip's gonna be, I'm gonna show you another area, there's bits there. Right, where you've got smaller areas, use your fingers before you use your brush. Now, use your fingers to try and pick up that loose piece of gold leaf. And with your fingers, move that into a position where you might see some of the yellow at the back. Can you see what I'm doing? Right there. Move it on your fingers and move it into an area that just wants a little bit of gold leaf applying. Let's do a bit there. I'm moving it off with the fingers. Don't worry if you pick up a little bit of adhesive on your fingers, because don't forget this is gonna be varnished. This is thought. I'm just rubbing it over where the adhesive is. So do you get what I'm doing? Or well, do you get what I'm saying, what I'm doing? I'm just getting it on my fingers and just moving it about, pressing it down and moving it across the areas like there, just to fill in those blank bits. And as you can see, I'm probably picking up a little bit of adhesive on my fingers, but I'm not worried about that. You won't see it. So let's go over all of it and that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll come back to you and show you using a brush to smooth it off. Gold finger. Let's get a bit more. He's the man, the man with the Midas touch. Hoo hoo Oh, let me crack on your audio mule. Uh, that wall has taken me just over an hour. At the end, I want you to tell me what you think you charge for doing something like this. Just over an hour. We haven't finished yet, but to actually apply it, just over an hour. Right. Get you on there. You see, that. Classy or tacky, that's what I'm gonna say. Classy or tacky. What I will say, the more you can get on your hand like that to move it about, the easier it is to fill in the, the gaps without you actually needing to disturb the, the mordant adhesive. So if you can keep quite a bit on your hands, on your fingertips, and move it about that way, you'll find it actually wants to adhere to what's not got, what's not got the gold on a lot easier than just trying to do it in little bits. So it's looking good. Right there. Just move it about. You can actually virtually follow where your joints are. If you can just see your joints. Anything that's a big area that you think, oh, I'm gonna need a bit more sheeting, you can do, you can put another sheet across it. And if you need to, you can just touch in with a bit more adhesive and then just go over the top. So don't worry if you do miss a piece. Right, I've done that with the fingers. Any big areas, I just took a sheet, because it was cheap, wasn't it? It's the foil. I took a sheet, uh, scrunched it up, and just dobbed in areas that needed dobbing in, so nothing complicated about that. I'm just now just going over with a soft duster brush. This is only one of the cheap, I don't know, Pro Deck 
again, I'll put some links to the stuff we've used. Pro Deck Duster Brush, and I'm just going to go around now and just knock off any of the loose edges that might be on a, an overlap of the sheets. Uh, also, just, well, you can see what I'm doing there. Look, it also aids in pushing any of the gold leaf that might be ballooned or just a bit of an air bubble behind it. It just pushes it in. Not that I'm too worried about that because when I come to do the varnish in the varnish, you'll just push it on as well. So um, all being well, I'm probably not far off it and I'll um, do a bit of cleaning up before I get the varnish out. It's all over the floor. I don't want to say it's quite simple because it's a little bit Fiddly, fiddly is the word. So we've got it on, as I've said, any large areas, I'm trying to get me in some better light. Any larger areas, I just crumpled up some of the gold leaf or even bits that were on the floor and just dobbed in. I've brushed it all over now um, with that duster brush and I've actually backed up the floor because there was bits all over the place. That bit of tape across the top edge of the skirting I've taken off as well because I didn't want the adhesive, the mordant, the gold size adhesive sticking to the edge. And if you know what it's like, if you leave tapes on too long, you pull it off. I don't want it pulling any of the gold leaf off. So I'm gonna re-tape that top edge and I'm only using, I'll show you. I've got the mask, it's the purple, it's the delicate for delicate surfaces. That's what I'm using. I'm just gonna go over that skirting top edge again, just with a bit of that purple tape, mainly because I'm gonna go with the varnish now. I'm gonna brush it to start with, just so I know that I've got it all on in so, well, pushes down the actual uh, gold leaf if anything's loose, it shouldn't be, because I've brushed it down. But that's what I'm gonna do, and then I'll show you what it's like when it's finished. Now I'm going for a gloss varnish because I still want to keep that gloss gold shiny effect. Now, I'll let that dry for 24 hours before I put any more coats on, but I have still got all the trades to come in and finish off in here. So I'll probably leave any subsequent varnish coats till later until everything's finished, because then that'll just um, sign off for that, won't it? I'll, I'll get it sealed for now and then finish some more coats later on. I don't know, three, four, five, depends how I feel. But um, yeah, let me get the tape on and um, I'll show you some varnishing up. Well, I'll do, just show you what I've done with the tape. Um, I've kept it a fraction, can you see? I've kept it a fraction away from the edge of the gold, which was taped before. That's mainly because I'm gonna just go onto that skirting slightly with the, with the lacquer, with the varnish, and I want it to seal across that gold edge against the skirting. Now, I'll just pull that back off. The skirting, you can see it's all been done in Benjamin Moore scuff X. What I will do, I'll probably touch that up at the end um, because there is a little bit of paint pull from previous paints that have been on before. Not my fault, but you know what it's like. You can just see. A bit of a zoom. Now this is where I've had to do little bits of patching, which won't show when the varnish is on. And as I say, once it's had two or three coats of varnish, it'll be very, very nice. What I like about the gold is, I quite like these creases that come look, look like a piece of, well, should we say leather? I like that sort of effect. It's not smooth. It gives you a bit of a texture to the surface of the wall. Can you see? Hopefully, it's gone back a bit. All right, let's have a look what I'm doing. I've got, I've got the clear lacquer. And as I say, this is the lacquer that will go over, and I'll just zoom in on that, any problem surfaces? I'll say problem surfaces because if you tried, and I said earlier, try to varnish with a water-based varnish, because these are water-based. If you tried to do a water-based varnish over that gold, what happens? It's like trying to paint on a candle. It scissors up. This stuff doesn't. That's why you've got to use it. That's why you can't get away with just trying to use a, a water-based um, emulsion glaze or anything like that. So I've got that tipped out just into my paint kettle tub, that, whatever you want to call it. And I've got, I don't know whether you've seen these before, it's the Monarch Advance, and this is a 88 mil. So that's, what's that, three and a half inch. And I'm just going to brush it for now with this. If I feel like I want to get more of a, I'll spin you around. If I feel I want to get more of a 
oh, roller finish on it. I will do next time round, but for now, let's just brush it. Right, I'm going to give for the coat of varnish now. Please work from one side of the kettle and no slapping it about. If you work from one side of the kettle, like you can see what I do here, keep yourself clean. Now this feels quite thick as a, a varnish lacquer, but actually applying it, it goes on a dream. Don't worry if you just catch your emulsion ceiling and walls, because as I said, there might be a little bit of touching up later on. Just cutting around nicely. Do you like videos of cutting in? It's all anybody seems to be able to do. I don't know whether they can do paper hanging or anything else. It's always, oh, look how well I can cut in, look. Ah. Yeah, probably will. We do it every day. So spread it out evenly. You don't have to put loads on. Crow's nest it, you don't need to lay it off. If you put too much on, you, you'll probably get runs, which it's not gonna happen with me, is it? And I will say what a lovely three and a half inch brush this is for applying water-based paints. This will probably be touch dry in about an hour, probably less. But as I say, I will be recoating this the next day, so I know it's all hardened off. Look at that, no sissing. And a oh, I'm gonna say it's applied like a professional's done it. While you're watching me do this, there'll probably be a link in the corner to some other videos that you can probably watch at another time. Please support the channel, give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe, and if you press the bell, you won't miss any um, new videos coming out. Slide off lovely. If you're not used to brush work of applying stuff like this, just work in small sections at a time. And again, I'll say. If you do come back to it once it's dry and you see slight areas that need touching in uh, with the gold, don't worry about it. You can always just get a small little brush, touch in those areas that want some more adhesive, give it 15 minutes to tack off, then touch it in with your pieces of gold that you've got off your sheets, and then you can re-varnish it. Touch it in first if you want to build it up with the same amount of coats, and then do the whole lot. This won't dry too quick off on you, so don't worry about joining back up to it. Really pleased with that. You're probably gonna say how much how much varnish should have used on that? I'm saying egg cup full. Yeah, that's a litre. I probably tipped out to about there. So what's, let's just say 200, 200 mil, if that. That's coated that up. Gold sheet wise, I went into that, well, I used 100, 200, and I went into the 300. So I'd probably say I've used probably 250, 300, probably 350 sheets to be on the safe side. But um, all in all, let's let that dry off and I'll try and get a final, well, final picture of it, video. Dead chuffed.
There we have it, my followers. I hope you've enjoyed that. That's just had the one coat of lacquer. One coat of that on it. And it is actually about dry now. Um, once that's dry tomorrow, I'll come back and I'll give it another and a build up. I'm gonna say, all in all, I've been under three hours doing that wall. And I said to you, uh, well, minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, what would you charge for that? If I said a thousand pound, for doing a feature wall like that. Is that too much? Or do you charge by the hour and say, oh, we're 20 quid an hour and I've been three hours, 60 quid. Let's round it up to 100 with the materials and call it a day 100 quid. Or do you charge for what you've done and not the time taken? So I'm putting the question there. What would you charge for doing something like this as a skilled professional painter and decorator? But all in all, that's gone on really well. I'm quite happy with it. I have got to just um, touch up around the edges where a bit of adhesive caught the side. Clearly the gold stuck to that as well. But I did know that there'd be a bit of neatening up around the edges. Whether I put a bit of tape around the edge and do a nice taped edge, I don't know. I'll see how I feel. But that wall there, if you can see the gloss starting to come, is looking like a, a quality gold leaf wall and we've only used gold foil. It's not actually 24 karat gold leaf. 24 karat gold leaf foil, you can actually put on cakes. And my eldest is telling me that we want to do a barbecue where we put a layer of gold leaf, 24 karat, on his burger. What a waste. He only ever eats half a burger and then passes it me. So, God. Yeah, but you can eat gold leaf, 24 karat, the real stuff. Um, that's what's on cakes and in gins and bottles and stuff like that. But that, really pleased with that. It's come out really well. It's what I wanted. It's the effect I wanted. If I'd have done that in wallpaper, how much would the wallpaper have been? Because we've done a job years ago and it was over £100 for a metre of gold leaf wallpaper. And it still needed tannal. It, was, it hadn't been tannalised, so it still needed a lacquer over the top. And it was over 100 metres, 100 pounds a metre for gold leaf wallpaper. So um, where do we sit with that? Do you like it? I do. Watch these videos that are coming up at the side. Thanks for listening to me. Like and subscribe and all the usual. And um, again, I will say thank you for the people that give me super thanks. It's much appreciated. Thank you.